Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today we're going to check our mail. Yay. I've watched your access from across the galaxy. Here's a bit of the power grid from the energy of you and your special one. Use it wisely. There are four lineup masters attached to the letter. So this person is here a special bond with. Could you be someone from another save file? I'm not going to say exactly who it is, but let me just say, she is in Smash Brothers, and I'm so happy that she's going to be in Smash Brothers. But anyway, now it's time to conquer the Tatra Galaxy! The Flotatus Blimp Fruit. This planet is... Well, this plant's design is one of the was one of the more clever ones in the game. Um, I really love it. I think it's I think it's awesome. And whoever designed this at Nintendo, you are my new best friend because uh, this planet is just really cool. It's just a giant tree, and well, and that uh, and while that may sound kind of boring, it's really cool. This entire galaxy is kind of cool, except for the second mission. The second mission is the most horrible thing ever. So this uh, Yoshi speed challenge thing, uh, uh, this Yoshi speed challenge thing, uh, we have to use our petty, our uh, we have to use Yoshi's tongue to destroy the Brano plant. Um, this is for, I'm not entirely sure how many of, more of these I'm going to sell off because um, it's pretty obvious by now that I am terrible at these things. <laughs> All right, so this is a new item. This is the Blip Fruit. And the, with the blimp fruit, you'll be able to become a blimp. Go figure. You press A when you're floating, you can hold your breath. You can hover in midair. Oh, <gasps> we can? Oh my god, it is so awesome. Kind of. Uh, you press the A button to hold your breath, but this will not... Uh, using... Uh, when you use the blimp fruit, you have a time limit for how long you can float in the air. This time limit will not go away if you hold your breath. Uh, you can also stick the remote to uh, go out of the blimp, for, blimp form immediately. This will be unnecessary. Epic, and we fail. How sad. You saw nothing. Anyway, with the blimp fruit, we can go reach our lot star. Unfortunately, there is no Luma sacrifice. I'm gonna say it anyway. Luma sacrifice. This planet can be a little bit boring, so I greatly apologize for that. Um, there's a comet medal right there, and I'll be talking about what, and I'll be talking about what those do in the next video. I was considering doing talking about that in this video, but I decided not to because they're not actually going to show up until uh, after this video is over. So there's a warp pipe right there, which can take us to this room. Um, let me just say that. Something that kind of irritates me about this game, and I have no idea why it irritates me so much, but what really irritates me about this game is that Yoshi's tongue cannot activate the chance cubes. I don't know why this irritates me so much, because it's just... because it doesn't really affect the game all that much. Um, and... Uh, if, I, if I were to give this game a review, it would not really affect the review score. So I don't understand why it annoys me so much. Um, it's like in The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Um, well, uh, it's, um, in that game, Link's spin attack, it goes the other way than it does in Link's Awakening. I've been playing Link's Awakening forever. Um, this, it's just something that, it's just something so small that annoys me so much, but yet, it doesn't really affect my experience with the game. I still re I've still been really enjoying playing the Oracle games. But at the same time, it's like, why does this spin attack go the other way? Alright then, enough about that. We're going to... I just lost my Yoshi. Come back! You have so much to live for! You're gonna be a Smash Brothers Yoshi! He's alive! Anywho. Um, I personally prefer to get this starship right here, uh, last. 
Um, but I figure since it was right there, I might as well go get it now. And uh, the reason why I prefer to go get that one last is because it's right next to the launch star. Um, so that's why I prefer to get it last, but unfortunately things didn't go the way I planned. Nothing ever does. Now here's, now here's a good question. Why hasn't Kirby gotten the ability to become a blimp yet? Um, Kirby, I'm not entirely sure if he has, if he's ever gotten a power-up like that, but it kind of fits Kirby more than it fits Yoshi. Uh, Kirby becoming a blimp to do stuff, well, I guess at the same time, he doesn't really need that kind of power-up because he could just float everywhere, but at the same time, why doesn't Kirby have that kind of power? This is coming from the guy who's only ever played Kirby 64 and Epic Yarn. I know, I'm pathetic. Alright, I had to do some editing right there because I failed, because I'm a failure. Anywho, uh, we have to climb around this side-scrolling area of side-scrollingness. I'm not entirely that, I'm not a complete fan of side-scrolling areas in this game, but there's not a whole lot of them, so it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, we got the Power Star! I'm gonna use it to get a pretzel. Looks like we've got another hungry mouth to feed here. You've got a new friend here. A friend with something special for you. If you want to check it out, just head down the pipe over there. Alright, so now we have a new area that we can access within Star Trek Mario. My sisters find this really gross how the warp pipe is in the ear of Star Trek Mario. I always thought it was funny. Anyway, in here we have a hungry Luma. What do you want? Luma Lee, Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Stop. Give Spin a chance to keep for a 30 star bit. It's so full. I'm feeling great. Here we go. Jump on! Alright, going to some. Yeah! I just saw right there, there. Oh, that chance cube has, has the chance of getting five one ups. Um, I think, I'm not entirely sure if this, if it's this particular chance cube, or if it's another one we'll gain access to later on in the game, but I remember that there is one that will give us uh, the ability to get six, uh, one-ups in, uh, within a single cube. So now, it's time to go back into the ch tall trunk galaxy to conquer our final mission there, at least for now. Tall trunk's big slide! Hello, lovely tree of loveliness. Yes. And this is completely off topic, but I figured I might as well share this because this is just some useless uh, knowledge. This is just some useless trivia I happen to know about. The um at Disney World, there's a theme park called Animal Kingdom, and it's prob it's uh it's one of the biggest theme parks in the world. And in it, there's a giant tree that has a carving of a, of just a lot of animals in it and there's a theater underneath the tree and I remember reading about how the how that tree was how they built that tree and it was very interesting they built the tree out of an oil rig and they used the same kind of uh, material that they used to build like the Matterhorn or Expedition Everest they used that kind of material to craft out the tree and I have to say and I have to say whoever designed the tree did a really fantastic job because of, Animal, because the Animal Kingdom tree is just awesome. But I'll talk about more about that at never the time. That, but anyway, what, let's, let's not talk about Disney Park. Let's just talk about the actual Vado game. I don't know why I'll talk about Disney theme park. Um, this trunk level thing was actually going to be its own galaxy at one point, but it, but somewhere around the development, they decided to merge this one and the Tall Trunk Galaxy together. Uh, this is not the first time that this happened uh, with, with the Mario games, uh, with the Mario Galaxy games, but so kind of the opposite happened. Uh, uh, kind of the opposite happened in the first game where, um, where they split. Oh, like uh, they split a level. There was originally going to be one galaxy into two into two uh, smaller ones, 
It's also worth mentioning that that slide was actually it was also going to be. It's also worth mentioning that that slide was also going to be a will be made out of stone rather than be made out of wood. Here's the symbol of Kurt. Take power start. Wooden powers activate. You got a power star. 